Tonight's reading will be in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13, the book of epistles in the New Testament. We'll read from the one of my book. One of many Bible verses on peace. As the world is watching the current situation in the Middle East between Israel and Palestine, uh, Hamas over Gaza and Palestine and many others as we don't understand, we pray, Father God, for your peace in that region. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's October 12, 2023, and I'll read from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 on the book of peace. Come and let your peace fall in Israel and Gaza and Palestine area. Come and let your peace fall in Gaza, Palestine, and Israel and the Middle East area. Come and let your peace fall in that region, fall in that region. Come and let your peace fall in that region. And we pray, Father God, for peace around the world too. Holy Spirit, fill us up with your presence. Shine your light through your people for such a time as this. In Yeshua, in Jesus' name, amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 in the book of Epistles. Final warnings. This is the third time I am coming to you. By the testimony of two or three witnesses shall Every word be established. I spoke a warning when I was with you the second time, though now I am away. I am again speaking a warning to those who have sinned before, as well as to all the rest, that if I come again, I will not spare anyone. Since you are demanding proof that Messiah is speaking through me, he is not weak towards you but powerful among you. For he has crucified in weakness, yet he lives through the power of God, for we also are weak in him. Yet we shall live by, with him by God's power toward you. Test yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Examine yourselves, or don't you know yourselves that Messiah Yeshua is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. But I hope that you will realize that we haven't failed the test. Now we pray to God that you do no wrong, not so that we may appear to have passed the test, but in order that you may do what is right, even if we may seem to have failed. For we can do nothing against the truth, but only for the truth. For we rejoice when we are weak, and you are strong. We also pray for this. Your perfecting. For this reason I write these things while I am absent, so that when I am present I need not proceed harshly, according to the authority which the Lord gave me, for building up and not for tearing down. The next chapter section theme is Final Greetings. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Aim for restoration. Encourage one another. Be of the same mind. Live in shalom. And the God of love and the shalom will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the Kiddoshim greet you. The grace of the Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Rosh HaKadosh be with you all. Amen. Amen. Verse 13 in the book of Second Corinthians 13. And the book of peace. Ironically, tomorrow is Friday the 13th. Whatever you believe, God is the center of, if you ask Jesus as Lord, your Savior, it's like no other day. Lord, protect us. Help us put the armor of God. Jesus is Lord of October, Friday, the 13th tomorrow, throughout the world. In Yeshua's name, amen. Praise the Lord. Pray for peace in the Middle East. Lord, we pray for peace in Israel. We pray for peace in Palestine. We pray for peace in that region of Gaza. We pray for the people, the Palestinians, all the Israelites, the Jews. God loves them. Jesus loves... Uh, God loves... Hamas. God loves 
Palestinians, God loves Israelites, God loves Jews, God loves everybody. Love your neighbor as yourself. Per forgive those who have persecuted you. Love your enemies. May the gospel be spread in that region. In Yeshua's Jesus' name. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill that land in that region with your Father's glory face. Fill this place. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with your grace and mercy. Send forth your word. Lord, it let there be light. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Shine on me. Shine on me. There is power in the name of Yeshua, Jesus. 